Thank you very much. You may now be seated. And after almost three weeks of no basketball, we are live here once again for the NCRAA Season 30. And now, we're here at the Kalashau Sports Complex here in Pangasinan. Charles Baichong here, Coach Anton de los Reyes, bringing you the action for the NCRAA Season 30. Great to have you with us, everyone. And now, we have three games ahead of us. First is the Olivares College. Sea Lions going up against Asian Institute of Maritime Studies Blue Sharks. Now, Olivares College, in terms of strength, skill, experience, they are the strongest in paper. But the thing is, hindi sila lagi na kumpleto, coach. Probably ngayon lang yata sila na kumpleto for the entire season. <laughs> so for Olivares, they're always considered to be contenders, always fighting for the championship. They've won the NCRAA championship title three times. So they're always there. Uh, we're going to see if, uh, like what you mentioned, for this game, this is probably the first time that they're going to be complete. So we'll see how they're going to do against their matchup with the Blue Sharks. 
Abang dito naman sa kabila, Ames Blue Sharks, Asian Institute of Maritime Studies, suffered a heartbreaking loss. That game went down the wire, giving them their first loss of their season, which now they stand at 5-1. and one. So for the uh, Blue Sharks, a very surprising team. 13 rookies in tow. Wow. So you wouldn't expect that they would be at 5-1, like what you mentioned. They had that uh, loss uh, their last outing. So we want to see if they're going to bounce back. Long layoff, nice rest. We all know that uh, the Blue Sharks are very, uh, they play very fast pace. So the rest is definitely going to do them good. Abang dito naman sa Olivares College, one player stood out from the rest nung nakaraang laro, and that is John Umali, who had a stellar performance last game. So John Umali, like what you mentioned, he was the player of the game their last timeout. He had 25 points, 13 rebounds, 4 assists. Coincidentally, that's his second consecutive player of the game performance. So let's see if he's going to go for 3 straight. <laughs> Habang sa kabila naman, J JV Odvina, who in their previous game wasn't feeling 100% pala. Yeah, so JB Odvina, last game, he was feeling under the weather. Medyo may trangkaso, so he had the flu game. So, Medro, he, uh, he wasn't feeling himself. He wasn't feeling like himself during the last game. So, we'll see if for this game he's 100%, if he will lead his team, the Blue Sharks, to a victory. And we will have the answers for all of those questions in just a short while. Pero, begay uh, muna natin sa ating venue announcer for the starting lineups. Masantos Yakabsan, it's Sikayo Namid, and welcome to Kalashau Sports Complex in Kalashau, Pangasinan. This is the season 30 of the National Capital Region Athletic Association on tour here in Northern Luzon. We are live on Facebook at facebook.com slash NCRA and on YouTube channel at NCRAA. First game of our triple header featuring the Ames Blue Sharks versus the Olivares College Sea Lions. Let's meet the starters first for the Olivares College Sea Lions. Small forward number 23, MJ Galliano. Power forward number 8, Iverson Akiatan. Center number 30, Leon Barbero. Point guard number 16, John Escalante. And shooting guard number 23, Lance De Leon. Head coach for the Sea Lions, Mike Sagigit. Assisted by Stephen Molfera and Philip De La Cruz. And now the starters for the Asian Institute of Maritime Studies, Blue Sharks. Small forward number 23, Maju Zapira. Power forward number 6, Gosh Gorea. Center number five, Mac Mac Reyes. Point guard number two, Jericho Peralta. And shooting guard number 28, Rainier Hornashon. Head coach for the Blue Sharks, Kiko Flores. Assisted by Derwin De La Punta and Sean Cruz. Our officials for this first game, crew chief, Jerry Gabriel. Umpire one, Eric Robles. Umpire two, Eduardo Villarosa. This game is under the supervision of technical head John Santiago and Commissioner Anthony Surin. This is NCRA Season 30 on Tour, exceeding sports beyond borders! All right. And we're all, we're just waiting for tip-off. And we are underway. First possession goes to the Olivares College. Surprisingly, John O'Malley is not starting for today. Alalam naman natin na siya yung nag-best player nung nakaraang laro nila. And uh, Coach Mike Sagigit has that luxury of having John O'Malley come off the bench. So that's right, Charles. John Umali, one of the bright spots for their last game and the prior games with their uh, two-game winning streak. It's very, very nice to have 
like you said, that kind of luxury wherein you can field in a player off the bench and it's going to produce. So we're looking to see how the uh, Sea Lions are going to fare in this matchup. It is a battle of two teams, two teams that are uh, at number one. They're sharing the top spot. So an all-important game, whoever wins this will be number one. And Escalante hits that three-pointer to give his team a five-point lead early in this first quarter. Abanggito naman sa Ames, JV Odvina also not starting for today, Coach. So JV Odvina, like what we mentioned in their last game, or like what I had mentioned in the last game, was feeling under the weather. So for now, uh, he is going to come off the bench. We want to see if he's going to lead this team. Because of course, iba yung leadership that uh, JB shows uh, when he is on the floor. So you like to see that kind of leadership, especially in an all-important matchup such as this one wherein they're going to have a share, or not a share actually, but the number one uh, ranking. Uh, in the team standings for season 30 of the NCRAA. So this is going to be a battle of who's going to be at the top spot, yung number one coach. Dahil parehas 5-1 tong kupunan natin eh. Yes. Meanwhile, two free throws is a miss. Lapira goes inside and he wow. is fa Oh! A traveling violation is going to be called against Mark Reyes. Wala siya nung nakaraang laro, Coach. So Mark Reyes, the last game, was also mentioned by Coach Kiko. He was injured. Now, he didn't specify what kind of injury, but he was, yes, not in the starting lineup. He played, I think, a few minutes during that game, probably to try out if kaya, pero hindi, hindi siguro kinaya. That's why he didn't play heavy minutes the last time. And still, the Blue Sharks scoreless. After two minutes of basketball, Lapira against Galliano backing down, fades. All air on that play. Oblacion. Lapira, nothing. Three servings for the Blue Sharks. Still, parang may takip yung kanilang uh, ring dito. So, Carlos Lapira, underneath, he's really, really excellent you know, he knows how to operate i remember the last game he had that go ahead basket mm -hmm. underneath so he knows how to operate underneath so we're gonna see there you go speaking right. of right underneath, on cue yes is peralta that is just great movement without the ball coach. yes so they have great movement that's sign of familiarity they know where their teammates are going to be. And that catches the other team off guard. That's why there was a foul uh, right now when you see Carlos Lapira shooting two free throws. So it really pays well when you're familiar, when, when you listen to the system and you follow the system of your head coach. And Carlos Lapira opens up the scoreboard for the Blue Sharks. The score now is 5 to one with 728 remaining. Barbero, it's blocked by Mark Reyes. Now they get the possession. Oblacion. Reyes with the floater. Nothing there. Kanila pa rin ang bola. And the ball will stay with the Blue Sharks. So that was a great block shown by Mark Reyes. That was what they were missing in the last game. That kind of presence. So we all know what Mark Reyes is contributing to this Blue Sharks team. Hornachon's three won't go. Now it's the Sea Lions, Galliano. 16 seconds to work with. It's with Lian Barbero. Akiatan inside, drops it. Barbero's mid-range won't go. So great box out being shown by... Number 28, Hornacion. Not the biggest guy on the floor, but because of uh, boxing out properly, able to get that rebound. De Leon, one-hander. That's his patented oh, move, no. coach. We were talking about that last night, that uh, he rises up with both hands, but then 
his left hand, the guide hand, lets go, and he just shoots that one-hander. <laughs> and now they lead by six. 6.20 remaining. Peralta wants to give it. Reyes against Barbero, carving out space. Nothing there. Galeano fighting for that ball. And Kiko Flores not very happy of what he's seeing right now, no, knowing that they just came from a loss. Yes, so you, you're, you're definitely, you want to come out with intensity when you just come, out, come from a loss, especially a heartbreaking loss. Mm -hmm. So that's what Coach Kiko Flores is a bit uh, disappointed with. Galeano's fake, and he scores for two. Now the score is 9-1 to one with the halfway mark of the first quarter. Peralta pushing the pace. Now it's with Lapira. Siya pa lang nakakascore dito. Cornachon with 10. Spins. That is short. And a steal by Peralta. Durante against him. Lapira drops it off to Mark Reyes, who finally gets their first field goal. It's a good pass from Lapira, driving inside the lane and being able to locate his teammate inside. Escalante with 13, gives it to Galliano. Lapira on him, he's doubled, fades. That is short, De Leon with the offensive rebound. De Leon sidesteps. Barbero top of the circle three. Off to the left. Now it's with Peralta. They trail by six. And that is good for Peralta. Finally, seems like uh, the things are going their way now after a cold start. So just getting into the groove of things. And uh, like what I always mention, it's adrenaline dump now. They've settled down five minutes has gone past this ball game so definitely settling down into their offense talking about the blue sharks galliano's three won't go gorea with the rebound now it's with gorea against barbero spins kicks it out lapira's three won't go barbero secures the rebound escalante fakes now it's with the team captain, De Leon. 15 to work with. Barbero gives it to Galliano against Lapira. Spins. Nowhere to go. Pero still, nagawa niya ng paraan. That foul was against Matthew Lapira. So Lapira getting that foul. Sorry, Galliano getting that foul from Lapira, displaying excellent footwork underneath. So we always stress this, you need to work uh, on your skills in terms of uh, footwork because that does help you out when you are in tight situations like that underneath the basket. Peralta three. Nobody boxed out. Durante on that play and then uh, the attempt for the rebound was late so fresh legs for coach Kiko Flores you have JB Odvina and then you have uh, I believe that twin is mm -hmm. inside as well and you have Daryl Durante so fresh legs gives you this kind of opportunity second chance point so coach kiko i was talking to him earlier now he did mention that um, they did prepare for the d for the offense of the sea lions talking about the triangle offense that uh, the sea lions employ they were looking for ways to be able to penetrate and make sure they get those uh, points and nothing on that play from the Sea Lions. And surprisingly, Coach, uh, patapos na yung first quarter. We're still not seeing 
Dolalia, Umali, Huko, de ba? So that's luxury on in the part yes. of uh, Coach Mike Sagigit. That's true. Imagine Dolalia is what six foot five. Uh huh. He's going to tower against uh, this. Uh, yes, he's going to tower against this uh, Blue Sharks team. But I spoke to Coach Mike as a you know matter of fact. What he mentioned was he wanted to control the speed of the Blue Sharks. So naturally, I'm not saying that Andre Dulalia is not fast. However, the the bigger you are, of course. Uh, going to be a bit more difficult for you to catch up against the smaller players because they're going to be faster. So that could be a reason why we haven't seen Andre Dulalia in this ball game. Meanwhile, 14-7 is our score. Dorantes, floater, and Iverson Akiatan clipped on the hands of Durante on that attempt. And now, John Umali, the best player for two consecutive games para sa Olivares College, now in the ball game. Fresh legs, yung nga sinasabi mo, Coach. And Durante, one of the key players nung nakaraang laro nila. And uh, we all know how heartbreaking that loss was, so... We'll see how they will respond to that this game. Lalo, ang tagal nung pahinga natin, Coach. Almost three weeks. That's definitely in the favor of the Blue Sharks because they do play fast. They, they, their speed is the advantage that they have. Talking about speed, we, you see how fast they cover the passing lane. Was able to get that turnover. So the long layoff really helps them out. It, it's really in the favor of the Blue Sharks. Durante on the attack, spins against Barbero. Fouled traveling. in a traveling violation. And still, the score is 14 to 8. Six point lead for the Sea Lions with 2.45 remaining here in the first. That's an excellent drive by Daryl Durante. Too, uh, too bad he was just called for steps. And that 1-2-1-1 one, one, one press was broken easily by the Sea Lions, resulting to a wide-open layup. Now Peralta, 2.29 remaining. Kanya pa rin ang bola, thought about it. 12 seconds to work with. Durante, the twin wants it. He sets the pick, Durante. Umali with the rebound. Now it's with Umali. Top of the key three. In and out. Peralta is running. Goes to the twin. His three pointer won't go. Durante fights for it. Still. Maikong on to Barbero. One. Wanted to drop it off to Renon. JV Odvina. Goes all the way. Basket and a foul for JV Odvina. So there's the JV Odvina that we know. Remember that game against the Patriots where JV, we called him the fireman because of his timely timely hits wherein he would stop the run or there would be a run and uh, JB Udvina would be able to convert. That's exactly what he did right now prior to that attempt or that field goal by JB Udvina. They were 0 for 5. So that was a timely basket. So the fireman I like, we like to call yeah, him. Yeah, that moniker, Fireman. Pamatay Suno. Yes. Now it's with Renon. I wanted to drop it off to Hunko. Now they trail by five. 123 remaining. Dorante now to Odvina. Bautista, sayang yun. Napakialaman ni Renon. Escalante, now to Maikong. He spins, he got doubled. And he got fouled. 
which is foul number 98, wins Swaminal. Second personal for Team Foul. So the transition offense of the Sea Lions. Oh, an unsportsmanlike foul. It's going to be called against Bautista. And sportsmanlike foul on Ames Blue Sharks, number 13, MJ Bautista. The things are not looking good so far for Coach Kiko Flores. Contact. First personal. So unsportsmanlike foul, you don't like seeing those types of fouls because that does disrupt the flow mm -hmm. of your, well, not only the game, but also the offense. So it's usually the one that retaliates is the one that gets caught. So <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> And now they lead by seven. Olivares College, 18, Ames, 11. 105 remaining. Nakao play sana yon. Now it's with Umali. Tri tries that three pointer. Still scoreless here in this ball game. Under a minute remaining here in the first. Ball is with Durante. Hands it off to the twin. Bautista with 12, he spins. Great defense by the Sea Lions on that play. That was great defense shown by the Sea Lions. Very disciplined, making sure that they're in front of their man. And that press was easily broken again by the Sea Lions. 27 seconds remaining and he steps on the line. So that's Hans Maikong stepping on the line, not aware of where he is on the court. So sometimes that happens, mm -hmm. especially if you're on that corner. Happened near to the, the best sideline. of us. Yes. 16 seconds left here in the first. Wominal against Hunko. Odvina has to make something. Arches with four. Hunko, is it enough? Fouled! And one for Max Hunko. Magic Bunot by my coach Mike Sagigit to end the first. Now he has the chance to give his team a double-digit lead to end One the first. And he's been the energy guy. Kada naman pinapasok siya ni and Coach Mike. Eh. Talagang uh, energy the yung binibigay niya dito sa kanyang kukulan. At the end of first, a nine-point lead for Olivares Scholars Sea Lions. 20-11. We're still live here at the Kalashau Sports Complex here in Pangasinan for the continuation of the elimination games 
of the NCRA Season 30. Charles Bechong here, Coach Anton de los Reyes, bringing you the action for our Friday triple header, and it's the battle between Olivares College, Sea Lions, and Asian Institute of Maritime Studies, Blue Sharks. And at the end of first, the score is 20 to 11, a nine point lead for the Olivares College, Sea Lions. And before we ended the first quarter, Max Runko, who's the energy guy for Olivares College, had a buzzer beater. Yun nga lang, hindi niya na shoot yung. Uh, bonus free throw to give his team a double digit lead double digit lead sana coming into the second quarter for the sea lions story so far charles and for the viewers who just tuned in the first quarter very very low free uh, field goal percentage for the Blue Sharks, they went 3 for 19. That's 15.8% from the field. Whereas the Sea Lions, 44.4%, 8 out of 18. So that's why they have this 9-point lead. So we want to see the Blue Sharks converting more of their shots, being able to run their offense properly. As uh, what Coach Kiko said, wag tayong bara bara. That was uh, his instruction to these young men. If you can uh, only hear him during the huddle, coach, right? Very so anime. we're all inviting you to watch us live here at the Kalashao Sports Complex. It's actually the third time we've been here all uh, the, in the history of the NCRAA. So we're very happy to be playing out of town, having out of town games and... Uh, you know, exploring and having the chance to play in, the, you know, in different uh, places. It's also a very beautiful venue. I believe uh, even professional teams, they come here to play in this sports complex, talking about the Kalashao Sports Complex, home of the uh, Putong Kalashao. Yes, it would be a sin kung hindi tayo bibili at mag -uwi. Yes, so. Nang puto kalashaw. Meanwhile, a lot of action is happening on the court. A double foul, I believe, against Hunko and the twin. So, this is now the intensity that we're seeing. The 5 uh, 1 intensity. Both teams mm -hmm. at 5 1. So, definitely you want that. Uh, intensity you want that six and one record meanwhile dan arches extends the lead to 11 points 847 remaining durante sidesteps goes reverse what a tough shot for durante daryl durante with that escape app two players from the sea lions met him but he was able to slice through the defense of those two defenders Meanwhile, Mai Kong and Dan Arches, nobody boxing, boxing him out on that play. So personal 4-0 run or 4-2 run by Dan Arches. And again, Kiko Flo Coach Kiko Flores uh, not liking what he's seeing right now. But uh, in the short, you know, time that we've known coach Kiko Flores he's a motivator yes he's very soft-spoken actually in uh, if you s talk to him outside the court he's very soft-spoken uh, very very nice guy puts importance in uh, academics as yes. what most coaches should do because remember these are student athletes and as student athletes say or as the student the the, the term student athlete it's student first student first so that's correct you like seeing that hearing that from coach kiko flores and all the other coaches that we've gotten a chance to speak to they always put importance in studies being a student first well maybe because these coaches were players before and they know that basketball is not forever that's true meanwhile Action resumes. Unko 
gets that mini bump and that short stab to go. Andre Dulalia checks in. Your uh, teammate before. In college. Yes. Uh, in high school, high rather. School. And they get the ball back. And now a steal by the Blue Sharks. Bautista. Masyado yatang minadali yung tira doon ni Bautista. Maikong against Waminal. Maikong goes all the way. Basket and the foul. That's against Leonard Montilla. So this is great back and forth action we're seeing. Just Olivares being more in control of their offense. And this is, I remember, this is the battle for the number one spot. And now it's ballooned to a 14 point game, 29 15 in favor of Olivares with 7.33 remaining here in the first half. Montilla, now it's with the twin. Waminal won't go. Wunko skying high with that rebound. Maikong. Akiatan Street. No, so that's Hyber, rather. And a foul is going to be called underneath. We don't see that too often. Talking about uh, Aldel Hyber taking that three point shot. He's more known as an inside operator. That's the luxury you have. You have Andre Dulalia, you have Chester Hunko inside. Forces Aldel Hyber to play outside. Coach Mike Sagigit mentioned that uh, during the break, they stayed very busy talking about. Uh, the Sea Lions playing against the Paranaque Patriots of wow. uh, the MPBL. So they're Kuyas, that is what they refer to. Meanwhile, Jericho Peralta hits that short stab. They now lead, they now trail by just 12. And yung uh, sinasabi mga kanina, coach, that's additional exposure sa kanila, coach. You know, those are really important. Meanwhile, Arches. Now it's with Hyber. Maikong with eight. Drops it to Hunko. Drops it to Dolalia. Won't finish. Kanya pa rin ang bola. And Dolalia is fouled. He was towering over everybody on that play. So this is the advantage of having those bigs inside for the Sea Lions. Ika nga, in basketball, height is might, and we're seeing it right now. And how do you counter that? You need to box out. You need to box out properly. You need to be able to locate your man to be able to get that effective box out so you can out-position them. And Obviously, also, talunan, hindi kaya, malaki. Also, coach, uh, we, have, you have to remember, we have to remember, Lapira still not on the floor. Yes. So who's going to guard... Andre Dulalia with your tallest guy on the bench. Montilla, short stab, won't go. Rebound by Dan Arches. We're approaching the halfway mark of the second quarter. Maikong couldn't get it. Great box out. Yun yung hinahanap mo kanina pa, coach. So we want to see the uh, Blue Sharks, the bigs of the Blue Sharks, undersized bigs boxing out properly. Reyes, and he is fouled by Maikong. So Hans Maikong getting called for that uh, bump. It's always funny to see you know, when, when, when they get called for a foul, they bump. They say, wala. <laughs> it, I think it's just uh, one of those things where it's like a natural, normal reaction. Na wala, walang foul, ref. <laughs> But when you watch the replay, <laughs> you'll see. <laughs> uh, meanwhile, it's Peralta. Picked by Reyes. Peralta is blocked by Dan Arches. Now, the white shirts are running. De Leon. Three-pointer won't go. Geronimo with the rebound. 
Sila naman ngayon ang tumatakbo. Peralta short stab is short. Saved it to Monsayak. 12 seconds to work with. Great drop pass to Reyes. That was a great drop pass and I was actually going to scratch my head already with that shot because he did not use the board. Oh. I was thinking, you gotta use the board, but it went in, so good good job for Mark, uh, Mark and Reyes. A steal by Peralta. Now it's just an 11 point ball game and a timeout has been called by Coach Mike Sagigit. Or sorry, that's a nine point ball game. 30 21 and coach Mike Sagigit wants to call timeout. Nine-point lead for the Olivares College Sea Lions with 4.34 to go here in the first half. And it seems like the Blue Sharks are slowly getting, uh, you know, their rhythm going here in the, in, in the late second quarter. You like to see that from the Blue Sharks. You want to see that fight in this team because obviously they are a very capable team. They're capable of coming back. They're capable of winning their games uh, against contenders like uh, the Sea Lions. Meanwhile, Dan Arches hits his first three-pointer. Actually, parang uh, unang three-point field goal yata in ng game natin, coach, no? No, first shot was a three-point. Ah, the second shot the of the Sea Lions, sea lions was a, was a three-pointer. Uh, that's going to be a problem for Coach Kiko Flores' team. Kapag uh, pumapasok na yung mga three-pointers three nitong Olivares Because College. it's going to be inside and out. They remember how the height advantage is on the sea lion side. So definitely that's going to be a problem already. Montilla's three won't go. Dan Arches is running. They don't have the numbers. And that is good. Five straight points for Dan Arches. Maganda nang tawag ng timeout ni Coach Mike sa gigit, Coach. Very timely was that uh, break in the action for Coach Mike sa gigit. Wominal. Or that's Munsayak. Drops it to Reyes. Couldn't get the basket to fall. He was fouled by Andre Dulalia. Mark Ray is a very long athletic player for the Blue Sharks and uh, Blo the Blue Sharks of Coach Kiko Flores. He's their starting center and uh, Carlos Lapira is slides to the four spot when uh, Mark Reyes is uh, healthy. Takbo na naman ngayon ito mga nakapute. De Leon, umali. Finally, he hits his first field goal of this game. That's his favorite in top of the circle three. It's unexpected. Normally, top of the key three-point shots aren't as expected as uh, the wing threes. Lapira answers back with a three of his own. Peralta had that open look. 
that are decided to kick it out to his open teammate Lapira who hits that three pointer. Now it's with Munsayaka. Drops it off to Jeronimo. Peralta fakes. Mark Reyes. Now Jeronimo kind of uh, forced that shot. Umali wants to go back to back. He goes back to back. So they're really looking for John Umali in his game. So he, he made the three point shot, missed, but then back down, he made it again. Meanwhile, Carlos or Matthew Lapira rather goes back to back also. And now Umali wanted to go for three triples. Nothing. So it's John Umali versus Carlos Lapira. It's a good matchup mm -hmm. if you look at both uh, their size. So that's a good matchup to have. And they're also playing the same position yes. coaches. So that's why it, it, it's such a good matchup to look out for. And the to si coach Kiko Flores talaga binabalasa na yung kanyang mga bara lahat nakakalaro na dito eh <laughs> he's gonna he's wondering who's gonna be you know the spark of this team he's looking for that uh, combination that's going mm. to get his team back into this ball game Galliano checks back in De Leon thought about it Two minutes and four seconds remaining here in the first half. De Leon attacks. D wanted to drop it off to Barbero. Now Peralta's breakaway layup will go. Under two minutes remaining here in the first half. Barbero kicking it out. Umali. It's all net on that three-pointer. John Umali hits three three-pointers in a single quarter. So you're pretty much wondering how John Umali can be that wide open knowing that he can knock down those shots and he's a streaky shooter. Definitely an adjustment needs to be made by Coach Kika Flores and his uh, Blue Sharks. Barbero wants it. Galliano with 12, now back to Omali. And a traveling violation is gonna be called against their captain, De Leon. And you were saying, Coach, you were wondering how John Omali gets wide open looks like that. Yeah, it is because as a coach, you scout, you have your assistant coaches scouting, and in-game, you know, you see that he's getting hot. Not to say that Coach Kiko Flores and his assistant coaches aren't doing their jobs, but it's more of the Sea Lions are really able to utilize John O'Malley properly in this ball game, in the past ball games, which is evident that's why he gets the Player of the Game award. So, I really want to see the adjustment. I want to see the Blue Sharks make a ball game out of this. Three servings couldn't get a basket for the Blue Sharks. Now it's 40 seconds remaining here in the first half. 44 31 is the score. Now, the twin from defense to offense is Danny the twin. A great steal there by the twin 20 seconds remaining here in the first half Barbero sets the pick Dan Arches Odvina on him and that's the second foul of Lapira he's gotta be careful he's the main guy of the Blue Sharks So that foul by Lapira 
off of Galliano. I wouldn't say it was unnecessary, but it was incidental. Mm-hmm. Kumbaga, they were jockeying for position, and when Galliano was able to get, or when uh, he was able to receive that pass, medyo yung kamay, syempre, posisyonan. There's always hands. And it's not that they're pushing off or holding, but you, you need to. You have that when, when you're jockeying for position. So during that time, medyo nahuli na hawak yung kamay. And 46-33 is our score. 9.2 seconds remaining here in the first half. Oh, it's Galliano committing his third personal foul. So MJ Galliano's foul. Bit too aggressive. So medyo, he wasn't gonna get to that spot. Pero nabangga niya eh. Nabangga niya si JB Odvina. 5.2 remaining here in the first half. And now they're in the penalty. JV Odvina finally getting his rhythm back after that 4 0 run by himself in no the first quarter. So JB Odvina hitting two of two. And a timeout has been called by Olivares College with 5.2 remaining here in the first half. 46. 35 in favor of Olivares. Five point two seconds remaining here in the first half. The score is forty six thirty five in favor of Olivares College. Now they called the t- a timeout to you know put the finishing touches to end the second quarter. So Coach Mike Sagigit calling that timeout to be able to draw up a play and get Almost. Mm. Almost. Almost uh, a timeout s- wasted. Yes, but uh, <laughs> no, speaking about Coach Mike Zagigit, you always want to be able to get the best shot. Even if it's only five seconds, three seconds, you want to be able to get the best shot available to increase your lead and get that momentum going into the third quarter. Continue that momentum. And almost a steal again by the Blue Sharks. Danny the twin. 1.4 seconds remaining. Enough for a quick shot. Akiatan won't go. And that will do it at the end of the second quarter. The score is 46-35 in favor of Olivares College Sea Lions. We'll be back after this halftime break.
We're still live here at the Kalashau Sports Complex here in Pangasinan for the continuation of the elimination games ng ating NCRAA Season 30. Charles Bechong here. Coach Anton de los Reyes bringing you the action of the first game of our Friday triple header. 46-35 is our score at the end of second. Olivares still in favor. So for the first half, the shots are there for the Blue Sharks. They attempted 41 field goals but only converted 11. So that's a 26.8% clip. On the other end, the Sea Lions attempted 40, but they were able to convert 17. So that's 42.5. But the biggest disparity is in the three-point shots made. So you have for the uh, Sea Lions, 5 for 16, 31% for the... Blue Sharks, 2 out of 10. So that's 20%. So that's where the disparity lies. Big reason for that is John O'Malley. John O'Malley. Oh. Second quarter alone. Three three-point shots made. So that's a big reason why. And we did talk about him early during our pregame, Charles. Mm -hmm. John O'Malley doing the damage for the uh, second game now. Third game now, I should say. And for the Blue Sharks, you only have Carlos Lapira hitting a couple of three pointers. 921 remaining. My Kong on the attack. He finishes. Plus the foul. So that hard drive by Hans Maikong caught the defense off guard. They were expecting to dump it down low. Instead, he took it strong to the basket. So good recognition by, by uh, Hans Maikong. 48-35, 13-point lead for the Sea Lions. And finally, Ramitiere opens up the scoreboard here in the third quarter for Ames Blue Sharks. So JB Ramitere didn't start mm -hmm. for the Blue Sharks, but Coach Kiko Flores opting to putting him, put him inside. Something new, something different. Spark off the bench for uh, the Blue Sharks. And you were telling uh, earlier, Coach, eh? Coach Kiko Flores is finding the right combination for his team. La Luna, they're down by 11 points and they're coming from a loss. They do want to get back into that win column. You see Peralta and Odvina inside. They didn't start together, but now Coach Kiko Flores electing to have them both there. So talagang combinations. That's what Coach Kiko Flores is looking for right now. Odvina back on the floor. 18 seconds to work with. His three-pointer won't go. At uh, bola, babalik pa rin sa Blue Sharks. After it was last touched by... Oh, and they overturned the call. So Olivares ang bola. Now it's time for the Blue Sharks to set up their defense. Ito na naman yung press nila. And that's easily broken every time by the Sea Lions. Now the twin to Gorea goes all the way. Malakas yung tira niya doon but uh, a foul is gonna be called against Lian Barbero and he'll shoot two free throws. Gorea taking it strong against Lian Barbero. Rightfully so, he does have the advan advantage over Lian Barbero in terms of strength inside. So Lian Barbero, he is a tall player, but we all know he plays uh, the wing position for the Sea Lions. So it's good recognition. You like to see that from players being able to make the right reads at the right time. 
And finally, a steal from the Blue Sharks. Peralta, can they convert? Anila pa rin ang bola. Now it's with Gurea. Barbero again on him. And a steal by the Blue Sharks. The twin finishes through contact. Basket and a foul for Danny Datwin. Now they just lead by seven. So Danny Datwin getting that bang in the bucket, but you have to give credit to JB Odvina. He was the one who got the hand on that ball for Danny Datwin to be able to get uh, that steal. So JB Odvina, the smallest guy on the floor, always the most active guy. So I love seeing JB Odvina doing damage. That is a win. Couldn't get the bonus free throw to fall. Still, they trail by seven. Now, John O'Malley's back in the ball game. Maikong with 14. And he travels clearly. So, Hans Maikong a bit over eager seeing JB Odvina in front of him. Odvina on the attack. Wow! Series of moves from JB JB Odvina. Yun nga lang, it resulted to a turnover. Sabi ni Coach Kiko Flores. Ira mo na. Panira na actually yun kay JB when he was able to elude the defense. Hey, clearly, you got that separation, Coach. Oh, yes. Still a seven point ball game, 48 41 is our score, 7 12 remaining here in the third. Dan Arches tries the three. Nothing there. Gorea is running. He's guarded by Hunko. Now it's with the twin. 16 seconds. Odvina on top of the key, hands it off. Now it's back to Ramitiere with 10. And that three-pointer is a miss from Ramitiere. Rebound by the white shirts. Umali pushing the pace. Renon. Stop, pop, nothing. Kanila pa rin ang bola. Dan Arches. Now it's with Umali. Wanted to go for four three-pointers. But those kinds of shots, coach, hindi ka magagalit eh, no? Kay uh, John O'Malley. So John O'Malley, known for making those types of shots, even with the hand on his face, JB Odvina was able to challenge that shot. And I like that challenge of JB Odvina because he didn't go for the body. He went for the shooting hand. And that bothered John O'Malley enough to miss that three-point attempt. Olivares College. Now it's Renon slithering through the defense of the Blue Sharks for that easy deuce. Now they're up by nine again. Nothing you can do with that drive because he had the step against the defenders of the Blue Sharks. So even Coach Kiko agreed. No, wala na talaga magagawa. Yun na yun. You just go down and get back on offense. Meanwhile, Peralta with that short stab is good courtesy of JV, JB Odvina with the assist. 50-43. That three-pointer by Galliano is short. Odvina. Now to Peralta again. In and out. Galliano with the rebound. Good find by JB Odvina. Just a sorry miss by uh, Peralta. Great find by Galliano to Renon underneath. On the other end, the man. Uh, uh -oh. Both both teams really finding the open player and the, the best shot available. It's just a matter of really converting those attempts. The twin goes all the way. He's fouled. Again, he will shoot two free throws. But that charity strike is not a friend of him today, coach. <laughs> <laughs> not today for uh, Danny the Twin. Meron bang uh, factor yun, coach, kung uh, 
why you're playing this uh, kind of basketball. Yung galing kay sa talo, off a long break, and then pagod kay sa biyahe. You came from Manila now. You're in all the way to the north in Pangasinan. Is there uh, an effect to... Well, you've been coaching and playing long enough. There is definitely a factor. Uh, we, we, we always stress this, that you need to get rest. Means nga, you don't even travel, even if it's just from where your school is to travel to the, to travel to the uh, venue. Factor na kagad yung, yung ano eh. Factor na kagad yung fatigue that you need to rest. So, eto pa, mas lalo because talaga you go to Pangasinan and you're not at your dorm, you're not in a comfortable in environment in terms of, you know, when you rest, when you sleep. So, yeah, yeah. I, I would definitely say this is a big factor, being here in Pangasinan, playing in Pangasinan. Meanwhile, John Umali answers with an easy deuce. JB Odvina dancing against Akiatan. Drops it to Lapira. Lakas ng pectus uh, doon ni Lapira. And uh, also, to continue on your thoughts, Coach, we learned that uh, they arrived here at uh, probably like 9 or 10 last night. And then the uh, first game sila ngayon. So yes. maybe, eh, di ba? Mayroong uh, factor yun. May fatigue factor. A lot of those things you have to take into consideration. Siyempre, they also have to balance their studies. So, yung mga iba dyan, baka may exam gagad or may Siguro test. Tina tinapos yes. pa yung klase, di ba? So, there are those things that we have to consider. But that's what being a student athlete is. No? You have that's to be able to balance. Uh, yes, you have to balance uh, school. You have to balance your academics. Which, of course, is very, very important. Can't stress it enough that you are a student first. Meanwhile, an unforced error by Gurea. Dribbling violation. Ang tinawag ng referees doon. No one there pressuring him or harassing him on that play. Oh. And uh, <laughs> Durante may uh, pinapatanggal sa kanya ang ating referee. Fifty-four forty-seven is our score. Th three thirty-one remaining here in the third quarter. And it's Scalate got clipped on that play. This is just a seven-point ball game, coach. Would have been big. Uh, had uh, the Blue Sharks converted on that one. De Leon, corner triple is good for the team captain of Olivares College, De Leon. Now they extend the lead to nine. Odvina could not get it to fall. Galliano with the rebound. Escalante now to Galliano all the way. Galliano scores. Lapira. Three servings couldn't get it to fall. And uh, Olivares on the other side. The smallest guy on the floor gets the defensive rebound. Bautista drops it off to Gorea. Nothing there. Dan Arches. Fake pass to De Leon. A Rondo esque move from Dan Arches. So this back and forth action, it's really favoring the Sea Lions right now. And like what I mentioned earlier, Charles, the shots are there for the Blue Sharks. It's just that they're not able to convert. So it's not a matter of them not being able to execute their offense. It's just them not being able to convert 
the the shots that they are taking, which is for me sayang because this it was down to seven, and then now it's ballooned back up to eleven. So sayang. Bautista bothered by Umali could not get it to fall. Galliano again. Arches to Galliano. Two-man game won't go for the Sea Lions. 120 remaining here in the third. Odvina against Escalante escapes through the defense of the White Church. Nobody there to help on Escalante. JB Odvina just too fast. Able to escape and use his left. Galliano is fouled by Gorea. Less than a minute remaining here in the third quarter. So you saw there on your screen, Gorea huffing and puffing. You see him tired. That's why he was co he, he committed that foul. He got beat because of uh, being winded, you know, because of the back and forth action we're seeing against the Blue Sharks. I mean the uh, verse the this game against the sea, li sea lions and the blue sharks. Fifty four point eight remaining here in the third quarter. We still have ten more minutes of basketball. Munsayaka. One dribble pull up won't go for Munsayak. Dolalia secures the rebound. A tall lineup for the sea lions right now. Galliano to Dulalia. My Kong didn't expect that pass. And it led to a turnover for the Sea Lions. Dulalia had the right intention, giving it to Hans My Kong. It's just that uh, Hans wasn't ready for it. Both of them were actually free. So either one of them could have taken that shot. How do you match up against this kind of lineup? Galing kay Coach Mike Sagigit. Your uh, point guard is probably the size of your wingman. Diba? It is a tough matchup for uh, Coach Kiko Flores. But like I said, when you're, when you're undersized, it's about positioning, about boxing out to be able to get the rebound. It's your speed, being able to beat you're a defender because, of course, you're the smaller defender. Speaking of defense, Lapira. And finally, Matthew Lapira from defense to offense. And uh, Reyes is limping on the side of the court. Play continues. And he was able to heave it before the horn, but it didn't fall on the basket but there's there seems to be an injury on the court it's Mark Reyes being attended by his whole team something we don't want to see dahil uh, we obviously know that kakagaling lang niya sa yes. injury that's why he couldn't play the last game and now he's limping it seems like he tweaked his ankle and meanwhile, we'll uh, resume the action after this break. Olivares College 62, Ames Blue Sharks 54.
live here at the Kalashau Sports Complex here in Pangasinan for the continuation of the elimination games of the NCRAA Season 30. Charles Bechong here, Coach Anton de los Reyes, bringing you the action of the first game of our Friday triple header and Olivares College leading by eight at the end of third, 62-54. And something unexpected happened before, just before the third quarter ended as Mark Reyes uh, was uh, being attended by the medical personnel of the NCRAA. So Mark Reyes tweaked his ankle. Uh, nothing serious, but it is a lingering injury according to one oh. of the assistant coaches talking about uh, Coach uh, Darwin De La Punta. So he mentioned that he just tweaked his ankle. It is something that he's been dealing with the whole season. Still nursing, kumbaga, Coach. Yes. And that's something we don't want to see, yung, uh, th those kinds of uh, incidents. You want to see players playing 100% every game so that they can be able to help out their team. And lalong lalo na, he's been playing great so far. You see the difference game. he makes. Yeah, that he was a starter kanina. Meanwhile, MJ Bautista fouled, counted against Aldre Dulalia, much taller player than him. Probably a difference of five, six inches, maybe. Still great footwork for uh, someone who's not really, you know, playing the big position. Nakuwa sa bilis. Amabilidad. Wasn't uh, really expecting that. Nine oh two remaining here in the fourth and final quarter. Can this be enough for a comeback para dito sa Ames Blue Sharks to secure the first spot here in the NCRAA Season 30? Who is going to be 6-1 and one at the end of uh, this ball game? And you see there the board members of the NCRAA Season 30 with uh, the man... In white, Mr. Buddy Encarnado, the general manager of the NCRA. Happy. We're very happy to uh, be here with you guys. So we're all inviting you to watch us live here at the Kalashao Sports Complex here in Pangasinan. At baka pwede magdaran na rin kayo ng puto Kalashao. <laughs> Di ba, coach? Para ma-enjoy niyo yung game. <laughs> watch the games with your uh, putong Kalashao. Oo, uh oo. -huh. And so we learned that uh, bawal, mag bawal magpasok ng outside food and uh, drinks. Eh. Baka may exception sa puto kala siya. Could be, could be. There's an exception since uh, that is what uh, this venue, this town is known for. Their uh, putong kala <laughs> And uh, ball resumes. 9.02 remaining here in the fourth and final quarter. Eight-point lead for Olivares College. Looking to uh, secure the spot. In nga, sinasabi natin kanina, six and one spot here in the NCRAA. Mai Kong on the attack. He is fouled. Will he shoot two free throws? Uh, no, it's uh, just a blocking foul. No continuation. Just before the shot was attempted, I believe yung ni, yung tuhod ang uh, nakausli. <laughs> Escalante on the right corner. Galeano in and out is his shot. Lapira with the rebound. Now they have the numbers. The twin floater won't go.
And for Ames Blue Sharks, you have to make those first attempts to coach for possession. Dahil yes. mahihirapan kayo makakuha ng panibagong possession eh. So that was a good attack by uh, Hornacion. Giving that pass to Danny the Twin. Sayang lang. Again, I, I said this earlier. No? The shots are there for the Blue Sharks. It's just not falling in. The shots aren't forced shots. They're, they're shots that you would normally make under normal circumstances. This is not really dropping right now. Great defense in the, on the interior for the Blue Sharks. Meanwhile, Carlos Lapira still could not get it to go. The Blue Sharks just can't buy a basket. Mm -hmm. Eight-point lead. That, that shot been talking about the one of the twin and then this one of Carlos Lapira would have brought it down to four points because those were good attempts and coach Kika Flores wants to talk things over timeout has been called Olivares 65 Ames Blue Sharks 57 Two minutes. Two minutes gone by the fourth and final quarter. The score is 65-57 in favor of Olivares College Sea Lions. And now the white shirts are running. Dan Arch is ahead of the pack. Kisses the rim. And they lead by 10. 7.42 remaining. Hornacion, picked by Danny the Twin. What a great dish! Yun nga lang. Hindi talaga pumapasok yung mga tira nitong Blue Sharks. And on the other end, MJ Galliano finishing with the easy deuce to get his team, give his team a 12-point lead. Danny the Twin, three-pointer is short. Monsayak goes to reverse, still. You feel for the Blue Sharks because that, again, I don't want to sound redundant, but I am going to sound redundant because the shots are there. The attempts are there. They're not for shots. It's not like they're taking difficult shots or, you know, trying to, to force the issue, force the action. It's just that the shots aren't falling. So going back to what you mentioned, the factors contributing to, to them missing. Uh, again, combination, yeah? Uh, could be the venue as well. Again, the lid is apparently closed for the Blue Sharks. Yung sinasabi mo kanina, Coach, during the timeout, hindi nagagalit si Coach Kiko sa mga shots nitong Blue Sharks. He's not angry at his, at, at the young men. Right? He's not angry at them because he knows that his, they're executing. The shots mm -hmm. just aren't. It, it's a different situation when you say you execute. Okay? So the, you run the play, you're able to get your offensive sets going. And then you're able to convert. So you execute and you convert. But in this situation, they execute. It's just they're not able to convert the attempt, the basket. So, masakit yun. 
Meanwhile, Hans Maikong with a beautiful move. And there you have it. Carlos Lapira gets fouled. And they have the chance to trim this down to a 12-point lead. It's been so long, coach, since they bought a basket. And uh, the height disadvantage definitely took its toll on the Blue Sharks. So trying to figure out really how the Blue Sharks are going to be able to claw their way back into this ball game. How they're going to convert those uh, baskets. Dan Arches. Now to Escalante. Top of the key three. Could not get it. Lapira battling for that rebound. JB Odvina kicking it out. Durante three. Nothing again for the Blue Sharks. It's a good find by Odvina finding his teammate open at the wing. Peralta just couldn't make again, couldn't convert the basket. Then Arches. Could not get it to fall. Durante is running. Lapira short stab. Danny the twin. Finally, their first field goal after almost two minutes of basketball. And an unforced error for the Olivares College. Enough to keep them going. Uh, to uh, orchestrate a comeback. They have five minutes, a lot of time for them to be able to get a comeback, especially with the speed and the pace that the uh, Blue Sharks play with. So I wouldn't be surprised. Kanila pa rin ang bola. Third serving, Peralta finally! Their first three-point field goal since the second quarter. 71-64. Barbero! It is blocked. Kumakatok na sa pintuan ng mga Sea Lions. Ang Blue Sharks. Could not get it to fall. Yung three-pointer na yun. I like that find by JB Odvina though. Again, I always stress this. If your teammate makes this shot, the first shot, try to find him again and see if he's on a streak. Arches. Six seconds to work with. Nothing on that play. Durante. He has the numbers. Too much English on that shot. Renon. Now to Arches. And he steps on the line. Or there's a foul by JB Odvina. Now John Umali checking back. Really nothing JB Odvina could do on the driving uh, Dan Arches. He was closing out hard. So Dan Arches did the right thing, driving inside. Got a foul from uh, JB. Maikong swishes that short stab. Nine point ball game. Lapiras three. Did not get it to fall. Kanila pa rin ang bola. JB Odvina spins to Lapira. Finally. They're uh, trading punches right now. JB Udvina, good find on the baseline. Again, JB Udvina with the rebound, setting up his teammate Durante. Could not get it. Pero sakitik din mo naman kung na kanino ang bola. Now it's just a five-point ball game, a technical foul or a timeout rather. Is gonna be called 
by coach Mike Sagigit Olivares only leading by five, 73, 68 with three minutes remaining here in the fourth. Three, three minutes remaining here in the fourth and final quarter. Things have just become interesting and it's just a five-point lead, 73-68. And a stop by the Blue Sharks. Now they're running, Carlos Lapira. Masyado yata ang minadali, yung possession na yun. Could have held it and gotten a uh, better setup on their offense for the Blue Sharks. MJ Galliano, now it's with Dan Arches, picked by John Umali. He takes the three, just couldn't get it to fall. Ito na naman ang mga nakasul, JB Odvina. One man to beat. And Galliano secures the rebound. We are approaching the last two minutes of this ball game. Barbero. And the bench of the Blue Sharks. Livid right now. Lalung Lalung is coach Kiko. He's asking for a travel or any other violation. Basta by violation. It is a close ball game, so you would expect that every call will be crucial. Talking about the Blue Sharks, for the side of the Blue Sharks. So they are trying to come back from this uh, deficit. Double-digit deficit, now down to just five. Lian Barbero missing that first attempt on the charity strike. And he gets that second to go. One minute, 56 seconds remaining. Six, six point ball game. Durante could not get it. Lapira in and out. JB Odvina still could not buy a basket. Is the Blue Sharks. Lian Barbero says, let's take some time. Dan Arches with 10 seconds. Galliano, short stab. Couldn't get the tip in to go. 114 remaining, a make or break situation for the Blue Sharks. So you see now the Blue Sharks opting uh, to walk the dog <laughs> to buy them more time for this offense. And there you have it. Correa cuts the lead to just four with 1.05 remaining. Hans Maikong. Now it's with Dan Arches. What will they do? Galliano, three seconds to go. And they have a chance to cut this lead. 
So one possession ball game. 74, 70 with 44.6 seconds remaining here in the fourth. So that's an excellent adjustment of our table officials getting the time right. JB Advina kicking it out. That three-pointer by Peralta is long. And now they're on the penalty. JB Odvina, that's it for today. But I JB Odvina. Dorantes checking in for JB. So that's big losing JB Odvina. Of course, we know how important JB Odvina is to this Blue Sharks team and for Coach Kiko Flores losing uh, one of his leaders on the floor. Four point lead. All important free throws. Five point ball game. Peralta on the attack. Lapira sets up a three. That is short. Saves it to the wrong guy. Nobody's fouling. And Carlos Lapira commits his fourth personal foul. Or that's his third, rather. MJ Galliano has the chance to put the nail in the coffin for this game. 20.9 seconds. They lead by six. So it's now a two possession ball game. Let's see what the Blue Sharks come up with. Kanila pa rin ang bola. Carlos Lapiras 3. Could not get it. Kanila pa rin. Gurea with 7 seconds. Durante. Yes, Gurea is fouled. And uh, you can see on coach Kiko Flores the frustration on his face. On his uh, actions right now. Really a tough loss for the Blue Sharks because they were right there. They were in this. And that will do it. Blue Sharks could not prevail over the Sea Lions. Olivares College on top right now with a 6-1 and one win loss record. They are now sitting alone at the top. It was a hard fought battle. We thought that uh, this game was gonna go down the line and it did. They had a chance to Get this, you know, comeback win. Yun nga lang. Sinasabi mo kanina, coach, the shots are there. The shots were there. Ex execution. Ando doon. It's just the conversion. Yes. So those are two, again, two totally different things to be able to execute your offensive set, offensive scheme. But to convert is, again, another story. So sayang lang talaga because they were able to come back from a double digit lead as high as a 14. So it would have been great to see a comeback. We all like seeing comebacks. But of course, Olivares College proving to be the steadier team down the stretch.
So we have Charles Beitiong with Hans Maikong, the player of the game for today. Charles. And now we're joined by the best player of this game, Hans Maikong, with 16 points, 3 rebounds, and 6 out of 8. It's a field goal percentage. Hans, ang haba ng bakasyon, ang haba rin ng biyahe papunta dito. Ano yung ginagawa nyo para hindi mawala yung uh, approach nyo dito sa laro na yung intensity nyo ando doon pa rin? Um, ano, laging nag-iinsayo kami. Di ba, may ano, yung nawala yung ano, liga. Yun, tuloy-tuloy pa rin yung insayo namin. Nagpahinga lang kami unti, pero balik to work kami. Tapos yun, mas ginalingan namin kasi gusto namin manalo at saka mag-champion sa liga nito. Well, congrats on your sixth win, Hans. Bati ka muna at sa mga sumusuporta mo, bigay ka ng pasalamat. Binabati ko nga po pala ang magulang ko sa mama at papa ko sa Sultan Kudarat, saka mga tropa ko doon. Binabati ko rin po yung mga, yung mga tita ko sa Jensen, saka yung Freedom Construction, saka kay Madam Presco, Presco Family, at kay Coach Victor. Saka binabati ko rin mga teammates ko, saka sila Coach Mike. Saka binabati ko rin po yung girlfriend ko na nasa Mindoro, saka yung family niya. Tsaka binabati ko rin po yung sponsor ng jersey namin, Maven Clothing, tsaka kay Doc Michael Gonzalez, tsaka kay Boss JR. Yun lang po. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, Hans Maikong, best player of the game, now sitting alone at the top with a 6-1 win-loss record. Stay tuned, we have two more games to go right after we return. <laughs>